of the most troubling issues exposed by the COVID-19 pandemic is the widespread distrust of experts. It turns out that a significant portion of Americans regard vital medical and scientific breakthroughs made by actual doctors and scientists with a skepticism bordering on denial. And it's not good. When we ignore experts, people die. Don't believe me? Well, it's been happening since the beginning of time. Let me show you with a quick trip to... The wall of people who shit we were not trying to hear. This is a wall of geniuses who made life-saving discoveries. Discoveries we were not trying to hear. Like Onesimus, an enslaved black man who introduced the concept of inoculation to America during the smallpox outbreak of 1721. He said, hey, guess what? You can keep people from catching a disease if you expose them to a very small amount of the disease under the supervision of a doctor. Unfortunately, the people of Boston were not trying to hear his shit. So they firebombed his master's house and then a bunch of them caught smallpox and died. They showed him. <laughs> oh, by the way, no photo of Onesimus exists. So instead, we took this photo of Waldo Geraldo Faldo from Family Matters. <laughs> and we made it look old timey. <laughs> There's something. There's something fun to do. Now, this is Benjamin Franklin. You may recognize him from money. Franklin and his brother were hardcore anti-vaxxers, and they even printed and distributed anti-vax pamphlets until Ben's own son, who wasn't vaccinated, died of smallpox. Franklin was devastated and spent the rest of his life trying to convince scientists and government health agencies that people need to be vaccinated. Did people listen? No, they were not trying to hear his shit. Next up, there's Hungarian physician Ignaz Semmelweis. Decades before the discovery of germs, Semmelweis was a doctor in a maternity ward, and he couldn't figure out why so many of the young mothers under his care kept dying, but he had a suspicion. He thought maybe the deaths have something to do with doctors performing autopsies and then right afterwards delivering babies. So he suggested a solution. Everyone should just wash their hands, and it worked. Mothers stopped dying, but oh my God, people lost it. Doctors were not trying to hear that the number one cause of death was their own nasty hands. <laughs> so even though he was totally and completely right, people decided he was crazy. He was eventually committed to a mental institution where the guards broke his hands and he died. Not from the broken hands, but because a cut on his broken hand got infected and those assholes literally wouldn't let him wash his hands. It's real. It sucks and it's real. Thank you for your service, Ignaz, but unfortunately, ain't nobody trying to hear your shit. <laughs> Next up, you know him, you love him, it's German bacteriologist and hygienist Karl Fluga. <laughs> Fluga was the first person to suggest that doctors wear so-called mouth bandages during surgery to prevent tiny droplets from flying out of their mouths and into their patients' bloodstreams. Great idea, Carl. He's credited with, the ins with inspiring the use of the first surgical masks and the concept of social distancing to avoid disease transmission. Now, at the time, everyone said he was dumb. And 125 years later, people still aren't trying to hear his shit. <laughs> Next up, it's former Vice President Al Gore. Now, ee, ee, ee. Boop, 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 Ellie. Now this... <laughs> This sad sack has been trying to warn us about the existential dangers of climate change for the last 20 years, and we just blew him off. And now the world is literally on fire. Sorry, dude. Sorry, Al, man. Your shit was so right, but we were not trying to hear it. Or how about Dr. Anthony Fauci? Yeah, baby. I mean, we like him in this room, but all this guy's trying to do is save the human race, and 50% of the country thinks he's the actual antichrist. Honestly, I can't believe he's still at it because there are just so many people not trying to hear his shit. On this wall, it's lonely up here. But don't worry, Tony. In a couple hundred years, people might realize you were right. Fingers crossed. So let's take a look at all these magnificent faces. You can call them innovators. You can call them trailblazers. You can call them ahead of their time. The brother's best friend, remember? <laughs> but 
I call them? The wall of people who shit we were not trying to hear. 